at the um, opening of my exhibition Passages at the Rosicrucian Egyptian Museum in San Jose. This came about because I, I belong to a group of holistic artists called the Society of Layerist and Multimedia. And at one of our regional meetings, we were uh, showing slides of our work. And so I showed some slides, and one of the slides was me standing in front of this painting, I believe, the first one. And I said, well, now that I've done the four paintings, I'm looking for the right museum for them. And one of the artists, uh, Mimi Chen came up to me afterwards and said, why not the Egyptian Museum in San Jose? And so um, one thing led to another and here we are today. It's a long story. <laughs> And these paintings came about because of a dream. In my dream, I saw myself entering this white square room surrounded by these paintings, air, earth, fire, and water. So I thought this sounded like a good idea. And it's um, one of several times that I have dreamed pieces. And so I uh, spent some years making these pieces and uh, then it seemed that the Egyptian Museum was a good fit for, uh, philosophically, for this series of paintings. I see all these paintings as meditations and the uh, inner uh, relationship between the human beings and, and, the, and nature. And so, um, Everything is connected throughout the universe, and especially here on our Earth. We all share the same water. We all share the same air. So there is no separation between us and nature. So today is the opening of the six months exhibition and I'm going to do a demonstration of painting on the floor, which is the way I did paint these paintings. But the painting I do today will not be the way that I painted these paintings, exactly. <laughs> Thank you.
Gladio is the original master of what she does. My kids loved her. I loved helping her. She's one of my favorite artists. Her work is very is varied. She she's not afraid to take on just about any subject matter. 